Hey, 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 good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, people? Good to see you. Good to hear you. How are you tonight? I am fine, teacher. I am stressed today. I'm fine. <laughs> and you? You're stressed. You're stressed, correct. Um, well, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm feeling great for this last hour of work. We have the blessing of, of having, you know, an English okay. class with you guys. So I'm ready. Teacher. How are you? Le puedo enviar un video. <laughs> in the private, in the private, okay. Oh, okay. How are you? It is Hernandez. Hi, teacher. How's it going tonight? So, so, teacher. Really? Because, yeah, because in my day, I was the terrible um, quickly because I'm in my house. Uh, yesterday, I talked the, the problem in my yard. And then the round in the by the cement or the block. And the, and it's, okay, what you what from what you told me, I understand. You're doing some house reparations, correct? Yeah, yeah. That's good. It's, That's good. I'm glad your house is gonna be better. Yeah, it is. It, it's, it's the problem is the tormenta Julia. Yeah, the Julia storm. Yeah. Hey. Right. Hey, Marlon. What's going on? How are you tonight? Uh, my night is fine. And you? It's great, man. It's great. I'm ready for yeah. you. I'm ready for your class. What are you doing in the day? What did What did I do? You say. What did you do? Say. What did you do what today? Did you say. What did you do? Say. What did you do today? Okay. What Repeat. did you do today? What, what did, did you, you do, do today? today? What did you do today, teacher? Uh, well, in the morning, I taught a basic class somewhere else. In, um, in the afternoon, I taught um, another basic class. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight is different because tonight I have intermediate class with you. It's much better. Uh, the... Mm, what the class is the better for you, the night or the morning? Uh, you mean you mean uh, what part of the day do I prefer? Like the morning, the afternoon, or okay. the night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What part of the day? Well, my favorite part of the day is the morning. Really? Because yes, because it's where you have more energies. Now it's one of Mm? ¿Cómo se dice cuando uno se le está más cansado? O... Ah. Yeah. The, you you wake up tired? Terrible. Yeah. That's impossible. How old are you? I. I. ¿cómo, cómo are, you, are you 50 years old? Mm. Are you 40 no, years no, old? I, I am 20, 28 years old. <laughs> because I I going to sleep at the twelve or eleven, and I get up at the four a.m. or four or five a.m. It's That's terrible. Good, eh? That's good. You're young. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. You have power. You have energy. You have youth. Nah. Not... But me, I'm almost forty years old. Almost 40 years old, imagine. Huh? I get very tired. Nah, you're you're very happy. I... Siempre, <laughs> sí, oh, sí, but yeah. that, being happy is your personality. That's just your personality, right? Okay. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, thank you for the talk. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello, please. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Hello, Eliseo. What's going on? What's new there? 
fine, I'm fine. Everything all right? Yes. Right now, uh, coming back at home to work. Wait, wait, wait. You're coming back home right now from work? Yes. Okay. Yes. When you're going to work, yeah, that's different. But right now, you're coming back from work. Okay. All right. That's good. How was your How was your working day, huh? You had a good working day? Yeah, it was uh, a little hard, but uh, it was great because I shared uh, uh, with my friends, with my coworker. And and you got another dollar to your pocket also, right? Yes. That's the intention, to have a good time, to be productive, to enjoy what you do, you know? Enjoy your life to the fullest. Hello, everyone. Say hello. Say hello, please. Come on. Say hello. Talk to us. Okay, no more hellos. Let's go with feedback from last class. Do you remember what we saw last class? What did you learn last night? Last night, um, we um, wish. Thank you, Francisco. That's correct. <laughs> we learned how to express wishes in the simple present tense. And thank you for doing your homework. That was very nice. I can see some of the homeworks on your chats. Uh, unfortunately, when you send me a chat at 6 p.m., that's a little too late for me to check your homework, okay? Uh, preferably, I suggest you to send it in your break, in your lunch, um, during the day, okay? But after 5 p.m., it's very unlikely for me to check that out. Uh, although we're going to read some examples here. I have Regina's example. She says, I wish I had more money. <laughs> I wish I had more money because... Ah, I want to travel, okay, simple present, because I want to travel, okay, Regina, I don't even know if she's in, I wish, go ahead, I was, I wish I had more money because I want to travel, I want, ah, okay, I want, mm -hmm. also it says, is that you, Regina, oh, you're, that's you, it is, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. The second says, I wish I would like my daughter to stay in college. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need to change like. I wish I would have, okay? I wish I would have my daughter. No. They send the light. I wish I would. No, I wish my daughter would stay. That's your idea. I wish my daughter would stay in college. Yes? Mm -hmm. Number three, I wish that Sunday morning the vegetables car didn't scream. <laughs> yeah, teacher, because... Uh, potatoes, the potatoes, I... potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes, yeah. tomatoes, 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 potatoes, potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. All right. I wish my son didn't go to study tomorrow. Okay. Number five, I wish my son didn't go to study tomorrow because, because I, I need to sleep more or yeah. I want to sleep more, okay? okay? Noemi says, I would like to travel to Switzerland. Okay, I would like to have my parents back. I, would, I wish I could buy clothes. No article there, okay? No article, ah, it's not necessary. I wish my son would give me some shoes. Okay, let's check Oscars. We have Oscars example. Wow, Oscar Armando. That's very formal from you. Very elegant work. Very elegant work. I'm seeing it right now, man. Thank you. It says, you study with your sister. You wish you didn't study with your sister. Okay. <laughs> you wish you had, you wish you had, you study, um, you wish you have studied 
with your sister, maybe in present perfect. Uh -huh. You wish you had studied it with your sister. Mm, they wish they could play at the park. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, so you wish you could play basketball with your friends. That is correct. Yes. Life is difficult with the money. I wish it were e easier. 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 Easiest is superlative. So easier yes. is correct. Yes. Easier. You wish number uh, letter B is not correct. Okay, Oscar, letter B is not correct on number three. And then number four, my friends won't stop worrying about me. I wish they would, would you miss the birth. I wish they would stop. I wish they would stop worrying about me. Okay, check the corrections out. Okay. Dina says, I wish I had my own house. Yes, I wish I culture. I could, I could. I wish I could buy a car. I wish it were, no, I wish I had, I wish I had a better job. That's the correct one. I wish my grandmother would stop taking care of me ah oh, taking care taking care vidal says i wish i had vidal i wish i had simple pass had had i wish i had a jet ski yeah. i wish i didn't remember when you use the wish for the a wish in the present you have to say the compliment in simple past for example I wish I didn't work. I wish I didn't work on Saturdays. I wish I could buy a big house. That's a good one. That's correct. I wish I could speak. Could to speak? No. Could speak. I wish I could speak English as well as Spanish. Nice, nice, nice. Oscar says, yeah, Oscar, just send other examples. Additional examples, Oscar. Nice. No, no, es eh, que creí que no se veía la, ¿cómo era? The presentation. La, la presentación. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same examples. Alejandra says, I wish I had my own car. I wish I had my own house. I wish it were. Mm, I wish I had a better job. I wish I could. I wish I could speak English. Metal or I don't know what that is. Metal something. I am. That's you. Fine. Oh yes. my goodness! Put your name, man. <laughs> no, um, no, sir, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my number personal. <laughs> I am sorry. It's all right. I wish I was. Mm, Pero creo que en una me en dos creo que me equivoqué. En la primera. Recuerda que siempre cuando usamos el verbo uh, to be en expresando los wishes va a ser where siempre where 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 or weren't. So la primera sería, I wish I were smarter. I wish I were smarter. Number two, I wish I could get my driver's license. That is correct. I, I would like to keep... I will be there, wish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Number three is not really good. I wish I was a millionaire. Okay, that's a good one. Good job. Sandra says, okay. good evening, now we'll connect. Oh, that's different. Okay, guys, welcome everyone. Thank you, thank you for doing your homework. We're going to then move to the next. Oh, Salvador, go ahead. And good evening, teacher. What's going on? I, I want to ask you. Go ahead. Something. Go ahead. What is the meaning of the for form to express wishes in Spanish. In Spanish. Como... Tengo duda de, de, de qué significa específicamente cada una de las formas de pedir deseo. Eso es la duda que tengo. Mm, ok, ayudar. ok, ok. Let's go to the interpretation. Like cuando decís I wish I didn't live, es como yo desearía Desearía no vivir donde, con mis papás, ¿verdad? Estás hablando de deseos en el presente. I wish I had my own house. Oh, yo, yo desearía tener mi propia casa. Estás diciendo que no la tienes, right? Entonces, solo hay que seguir las fórmulas aquí en pasado. Acá, I wish I could move. Yo, yo dese, desearía poder, desearía poder mudarme, pero no puedo, right? I wish I could move out. 
uh, aquí, I wish it were easier, desearía que fuera o desearía que no fuera. Siempre vas a usar el, war, el, war, el where o el weren't. Y vas a hablar de una situación. ¿Qué? Tu trabajo, la vida, uh, el tráfico, la economía, etc. Uh, acá, my parents, well, I wish they, wo they would stop worrying about me. Es como decir, desearía que ellos ya no estuvieran preocupándose tanto por mí. ¿Verdad? Would stop. Que ellos eh, pararan de, de preocuparse. So, desearía que ellos eh, hicieran, ¿verdad? Would do, would go. Desearía que ellos fueran. I wish they would go. I wish they would leave. Desearía que ellos vivieran. So, depending on, on what you want to express, okay? You have a better idea now? Thank you. All right, let me see. Let's move on. Let's move on. This is your progress check, your knowledge check that you have to complete. Okay. And this is listening. Oh, this is the midterm, right? Okay. Yeah, this is what you have to do. This is your work. This is your homework. So let me see. Let me see if I can get your face. I always like to see your faces. Let me see. Just a second. There you go. All right. So here, what we have is our new objective, right? This is objective number four. And we're going to go a little faster, all right? We're going to learn um, asking and answering questions in English, right? Using the present perfect and simple past tenses combined. Um, we will check some videos, right? And explanations by teacher Joe Sands. Let's check this out. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express 
an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such so as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now, the question is related to uh, the example that you see there. I tried him last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. They were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect. And then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect and um... okay before we we go into that guys i want to explain to you that here is where you have to combine the past with completed actions and um you know using an infinitive in um also the present perfect right you start up with the question using the present perfect for example have you ever eaten snails so you answer yes I have uh, confirming, you know, you have done that activity in the present perfect, but then you explain the activity uh, using the simple past because it's a completed action. So you can use any verb, not necessarily the one in the question, but you can use tried, you can use had, you can use tasted, you can use um, ate, for example, okay? So have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I tried them. I ate them. Yeah, I tasted them last month. So this is um, a confirmation of the activity. Then in a conversation, the other person may ask you, did you like them? It's a just no question, but in simple past. Since the activity is completed, we can ask you direct questions like that. Did you, did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious, confirming and simple past. Okay, Francisco, go ahead. Sorry, teacher, I have a question. Uh, what is in Spanish wedding? What is in Spanish? Wedding, creo que se pronuncia, después de events. Después de events, events, uh -huh. aquí? Uh -huh. I just say within, so within, no sé cómo se pronuncia abajo. Oh, within, within. Within, okay. Within. It's a preposition, within, within. Okay. dentro. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Thanks, teacher. Sure, my pleasure. Okay, so in the other, in the other, in the other column, guys, you see, have you ever been, is another, is another question, or again, in present perfect, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? In example, if your answer is negative, you say, no, I haven't, right? Remember, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then you say something additionally, right? If it's negative, you have to say uh, what you did instead, right? A different activity. Um, no, I haven't, right? You haven't uh, been to a Vietnamese restaurant, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? You also mix it up with the um, simple past. Are you understanding? Yes. And then people can ask you just no question. Did you go alone? Did you pay with a credit card or cash? Did you drive your car that night? Etc. Okay. So let's check the way to make the questions now. Um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use 
have when I write talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. So let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it, um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be yes, I have or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month. So I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now, the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now, all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see, the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is, no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue the present, and then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever try sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. 
and so tell me about that experience okay so if you're going to tell me about that experience then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past so how would you tell me about that past experience well have you ever tried sushi yes I have I um, ate sushi last month oh sorry I ate sushi last month oh really and then whenever you start talking about that past experience the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past did you like did you like it now, how would you respond to that well you can you can respond to that by answering yes I did or no I didn't I thought it was great or I didn't like it and the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions have you ever been to a picnic at the beach have you ever eaten Mexican food have you ever visited Europe have you ever eaten exotic food um, as you answer these questions what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes I have and then I want you to tell me that past experience so similar to the examples that we see on the chart let's say the question is have you ever eaten Mexican food and let's say that your answer is yes I have then you will tell me where and how did you like it so as you can see what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event and that's what I would like for you to do for all of those questions there this question with the positive response okay very well so as you have seen these are the formulas for you to consider okay um, when making a present perfect question so what I want you to do is that I want you to create a question for me okay I want you to create a question a similar question like this have you ever eaten snails it's gonna be something interesting okay have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant or have you ever gone to a different country that's a good question have you ever been married etc so I want you to prepare your question in the next three minutes, okay? I want you to prepare an interesting question in the next three minutes. We're gonna have a talk using the present perfect and combining the present perfect with the simple past. Prepare your questions, prepare your questions. There's gonna be one question in present perfect. What do you have to do? You have to make a question in present perfect. Uh, using this structure, using this structure, look, have you ever eaten snails? Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Have you ever, um, have you ever been promoted? Yeah. Have you ever tried um, pakayas? Uh -huh. Have you ever made pupusas? Have you ever made pupusas? Huh? Yeah. In the next three minutes, I'm going to ask you for one question. In the next three minutes, I'm going to ask you to say or chat your question. Uh, remember, you have to have active participation in the insta four courses. All right. When we're going to interview someone, we're going to include yes, no questions with the simple pass. Did you like them? Did you go alone? Yes, no questions to get more information, to have a to have a solid conversation with someone. This is the type of uh, way for you to establish a very good conversation with someone in English, you know? Talking about experiences in the past. One more minute, and I will ask you for the questions. One more minute. 
interesting, make it interesting, of course, make it interesting. Remember, you gotta use the past participle verb. Have you ever, and you need a, a past participle verb. You need a PP verb right here, yeah? Within, within the question, right, Francisco? Within the question, you need a past participle verb. Okay. Okay, time, time, let's start, let's start. Let me see Michelle Barrientos, why don't you shoot your question? Okay. Have you ever eaten arepas? Choose, choose a victim. Uh, Oscar. <laughs> Oscar, have you ever eaten arepas? Okay. Have you ever eaten arepas? Hey, Oscar, the question is for you. Oh, have you ever me. eaten yeah. arepas? Yes, I have. Uh -huh. I tried them. I tried uh, arepas, did you? Yeah. Arepas last month. Last month? Okay. Okay, yes. just no questions. Just no questions. Volunteers, raise your hand. Okay. Have you ever burned a Wait, device? wait, 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 Oscar. We have more questions for you. The topic is you ate arepas, right? Last month, right? So the question is, guys, make a question with did you, did you, to Oscar. Uh, did you like the, did you Hello? Like the well, <laughs> the questions yeah, are supposed to be for you, understand. Oscar. Okay, we're going to make another question. Let me see, Naomi, Strada, shoot your question in present perfect. Microphone. The ones who, who, who can participate, acabo, raise your hand, okay? Acabo de entrar y no sé de qué están hablando, no podía entrar, lo siento. Okay, Salvador, make your question using present perfect. How would you ever know a famous person? Okay, the verb is conocer. How do you say conocer? De personas, no conocer de conocimiento. Me Meet, M-E-E-T. Meet. -E -T. Meet. ¿Cuál, sería, ¿Cuál sería el Meet. past participle? Met. Correct. Meet. Meet. Have you ever no. met? Yeah. M-E-T, one E. Entonces sería, how do you ever met a famous person? Good question, Salvador. Have you ever met? And remember, meet is for persons, okay? No is for information, like knowledge, okay? So... Raise your hand. Raise your virtual hand. Raise your virtual hand. Have you ever met a famous person? Yes, I have. Uh huh. Tell us. Uh, I met uh, the, the famous, the famous uh, <laughs> band, Banda LL. The famous band? Yes. The, the, the singer. The singer. The singer of uh, Banda L. Oh. Nice, nice. I, I remember two years ago. Can you make a just no question in simple past to Eliseo, guys? Did you? Hello? I have a question for you, Eliseo. Did you take a picture with them? Yes, uh, I I took picture with them. Yes, I did. Say, say, yes, I did. Yes, okay. yes, I did. And then you confirm. Yes. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Did you take pictures of them? Yes, I did. Confirmation, I? I I took a picture with them. Excellent, very good, excellent. Let's go with another present perfect question. 
Good question, by the way, Salvador. Let me see. Francisco, shoot your question, please. Okay. Um, one moment. Um, have you ever witnessed the museum? Have you ever? Have you ever witnessed within the museum? No sé si lo hice bien. ¿Alguna mm. vez ha estado dentro del museo? Estado. ¿Cómo se dice ser o estar? Bien. Be mm -hmm. es el presente, entonces necesitas el pasado participio. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio del verbo be? Being. Being. Right here. Right here. Oh. Being. So, be was where? Been. Right? Mm -hmm. Been is the past participle. So, can you repeat your question again, Francisco? Uh, okay. No sé si lo hice. <laughs> Have you ever been within the museum? No. Have you no. ever been to the museum? Okay. Sí, es que sí, te estás sí. confundiendo, estás viendo sí, within como siento. un verbo, ¿ok? Mm. Within es una preposición, right? Sorry, Entonces, no, it's okay. <laughs> Solo toma nota ahí de tu error, que es un verbo. En este caso sería been. Have you ever been to I a museum? To museum? Ok, yes. thank you for the question, sir. Let's go with Iris. Make your question, please. The answer. Ha, make your question, please. Have you uh -huh. ever? Or, okay. or have you? Uh, have you ever been to a walk at the park? Have you ever been to a park? A park? And do you say walk? At, caminar? No, you're using been. You're using been or you're using walked. Okay. You, you, you need one verb, not two verbs. You need only one verb. Can you repeat the correct question, please? Have you ever been to a park, at the park? You can say, have you ever been to a park? Or maybe your intention was to ask, have you ever walked in a park? Okay. Uh, remember, you can express it differently, but you need one verb only. Thank you for the question. Let me go with Marlon. What's your question, sir? Mr. Paniagua, talk to us. Come on. Time is money. Okay, let's go with Jocelyn. Let's go. Shoot your question now. Perfect. Uh, have you ever spoken in another language besides English or Spanish? Ooh, that's a nice question. Nicely done. Have you ever spoken? a different English besides, or, or rather than English or Spanish? Raise your hand if you have an answer, raise your virtual hand. Come on, raise your virtual hand. No, I haven't. You haven't? Just, just Spanish and a little English. Ah, uh, what about now what? What about now what? <laughs> <laughs> Something. You can say you can say words with Nahuatl, like utualito, mm. right? Like then de hoy, right? That's Nahuatl. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, me neither. Me neither. I haven't spoken in another language. I think nobody. Or yes. No. No. Yes, no. Okay, no. Okay, let's go to another question. Let's go with let's see. Jennifer Torres. Yes, teacher. Uh-huh. Uh, have you ever eaten sopa de pata? How do you say sopa de pata in English? I don't know. <laughs> Como de, de res, ¿verdad, Miss? Yes, de res. You know how do you say that, Eliseo? Jose, Jose is not here today. Jose has been quiet today, huh? How do you say sopa food. de pata, Jose? Uh, food soup. <laughs> food soup. <laughs> I never food heard. Soup. I've never heard that name in English before. I think it's a proper name, and you cannot translate it. I don't know. Okay, you say you say beef bone soup. 
Beef bun soup, sopa de hueso de res. Yes. Beef okay. bun soup. This is new for me. How do you say sopa de gallina? Hand soup. Hand soup. There you go. There you go. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue. That was a commercial. That was a commercial. So let me do it again right here. There you go. Okay, shoot a question, Jose. Can you shoot your question, please? In person, perfect. Guys, participate. Raise your virtual hand, please. Go ahead, Jose. Have you ever ironed your own clothes? Okay, have you ever ironed your own clothes? Thank you. We're going to look for a different question. Um, Eduardo Ortiz, shoot your question, please. Have you ever goes to the United States? Have you ever gone? Gone. Yeah. That's a good question. Remember that is the past participle verb. Yeah. Have you ever gone to the United States, guys? Raise your hand. Raise your virtual <clears throat> hand. No, I haven't, but I would like to go. All right. Thank you. Tell me, tell me. Nobody. That's interesting. Thank you for the question. That was a good question, Eduardo. Let's go with Eliseo. Can you make your question? Have you ever or have you? Have, have you ever been in a border and where? In a, in a border? Yes. Let me see. Have you ever eaten mango? Let me see. It's a good one. Who, who sent this one? Have you ever eaten mango with, with chili, limon, <laughs> lemon? Have you ever been in the beach? Have you ever tried Coca Coke, Cola, Coke um, with ice cream? Oh, have you ever been to the museum? Is correct, Francisco. It's correct. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay, let me see. Edith, Adeli, do you have a question for us? No. Participation. Uh, Go ahead. Have you ever been to an every moment, every moment, every moment mental protest? Environmental protest. Environmental protest. Have you ever been into an environmental protest, guys? In my case, no, I haven't. Um, but maybe next time I can. <laughs> well, nobody is answering questions. Go ahead, Michelle Barrientos. You have a question? Yep. Go ahead. Have you ever gone to the safari shopping? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Raise your hand. Raise your virtual hand, please. Have you ever gone to the uh, safari shopping? No, I haven't. Yes, I have, teacher. All right, Jose. Continue, Jose. Did you like with... it? Wait, wait, let him let him answer first. Yes, I have, and then? Yes, I have. Uh, uh -huh. I Did you know like what... it? I don't wait, know wait, 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 Michelle, wait, Michelle. Jose, try to answer. Yes, I have, and then? This part. Uh, yes, I have, like, three years ago. Mm, you're missing I don't know what this else structure. You have to say, yes, I have. And you need to say the verb in the simple past. Yes, I have been. Yes, no. yes I have gone. No. You have to give the, the short answer. Yes, I have. And then you have to say, I went there. Ah, the compliment. Yes. Not the compliment, uh, the structure. You need to use the subject and the verb in simple past to give the confirmation because that's how you are playing with both tenses. The question is in present perfect. The short answer is in present perfect. And the confirmation is in simple past. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, I repeat it again. Uh, yes, I have. I went three years ago. And yes, I like it. All right, three years ago, response. and yes, you yes, like it. Or did this you? Be a negative 
can you can you make another question just indeed to to uh, Jose? Have you ever gone to Europe? Have you ever gone to Europe? Whatever country of the United uh, mm. no, Union Europea. United. No, I don't know mm -hmm. how to say it. United. No, United. because United Kingdom is just four countries of the Union. Of Europe. But mm -hmm. there are 70, no, no, uh, 27 countries in the Union Europea. European Union, right? Okay, thank you. All right, that's a that's an interesting fact. That's an interesting fact. Maybe we can modify your question a little bit because going to Europe is a little bit expensive for us. <laughs> so maybe we can say, have you ever gone to a different country? Because people maybe have gone to Guatemala, Nicaragua, Honduras, right? Oh, can, okay. you, can you make the question like that, Jose? Guys, pay attention. Yes. Have you ever gone to uh, to another country into the into Central Amer Central America? Aha, uh -huh, guys, raise your virtual hand. Have you yes, ever I gone have. to? Go ahead. Yes, I have. Uh, I went uh, to Guatemala. I remember 10 years ago. And how was it like? If, if I like me. No, no. Uh, how was it like? Uh, como era? Como fue? Okay. How was it like your experience? Okay, it was great because uh, I, I was visiting a, a, a church with a with my community and my family and also I enjoyed it. Which church did you visit? Uh, that church uh, was uh, in the middle of the cup of the city, but I don't remember the name, but uh, it's about the uh, Catholic church. Catholic. Okay, thank you. Nice, nice interaction, guys. Congratulations, congratulations. Can we have a different question now? I wanna hear a different question. Dennis Palacios, do you have a question? Okay. Have you ever been to a soccer field? Have you ever been to a soccer field? Uh huh, guys, have you? Yes, in I have case, teacher. Uh huh. In my case, yes. yes, I have. Yes, you have. Okay, 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 okay. So, that's interesting. That's interesting. Make questions with Deep, guys. Make questions to him with Deep. Okay, you have no questions with the, for example, did you score many goals? Hello, did you score many goals? Uh, no, I, ju I went just to, to see the match, but I really don't like football. You really don't like soccer? No, it's kind of boring for me. Okay, okay. Have you ever, have you ever had an accident? Have you ever had an accident? Raise your virtual hand. Yes, I have. Who said that? Me. <laughs> oh, Michelle, you have? Okay, can you confirm? Can you confirm? Confirmation. Okay. Yes, I have. Uh, it was four months ago, I think so. Wow, four months ago, four months ago. 
Exactly. Guys, make questions with did to Michelle, please, about the accident. Come on, practice your simple pass now. Did you hurt your body? Yes, I did. My leg. Did you break your leg? No, I didn't. Oh. But uh, I was riding my motorcycle. My motorcycle. No, key. And you ride a, a car. Motorcycle? Uh, I don't crashed. know how to say. Uh -huh. Crash my motorcycle. Crashed your motorcycle in the back? And I, yeah, no. The lado. <laughs> on the side. Oh, the on side. one side. And I me I don't you, know how you, to say You this. fell. You fell and down. Fell. Oh and my I fell. God. It's just very dangerous. Yes. I'm sorry, repeat. I know. I have a really big uh, scarf. On my leg. You have a big scarf on your leg. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Oh, don't worry. That kind of thing happened when you ride a motorcycle. Are you feeling no. better? Yeah. Right now, yes. I feel better. Thank now you. Now she's a real girl. <laughs> Thank because you. of the scar yes the, you see you see michelle don't be violent when you're riding the motorcycle take no, it easy i'm not the cars are crazy so you're a pacific rider you're a pacific rider yes i am you you ride I mean, i'm sorry I go ahead you, i think you was not drunk you were i think you were you were drunk no <laughs> the car didn't respect the rules. The car so, didn't didn't make a stop or something or the yeah. traffic. Oh, no, the, the thing is he did like uh, a cross. That a wrong, is not, uh, uh -huh. wrong turn. Había doble línea amarilla. Double yellow line. There was a double yellow line, and and he couldn't do the 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 turn. It's not possible. It's not legal. Mm -hmm. That's not legal. Mm -hmm. So the guy, it was at the line of the right line. Mm -hmm. Izquierda, no, see what? On the left, <laughs> the left line. On the left, uh, give to hit the change to do that cross, and I was. Uh, you were the passing right by. Line. You were passing by in that moment. Uh huh. Oh gosh, yeah. sorry. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> And and did he did he pay for the accident? Did he uh, recognize anything? Yes, he didn't. Yes, he, yes did. he did. Yeah, he yes he did. Oh, at least that. At least that, right? It was his fault. Really? No, mine. Yes. Yeah, it was his fault, not yours. All right, all right, interesting. Thank you for sharing that, Michelle. That was pretty good. That was pretty, pretty good. Okay. So for tomorrow's talk, for tomorrow's talk, um, you're not gonna send me, you're not gonna send me a, a, a messages tomorrow, but what I need you to do is that I want you to prepare me a question and I want you to make it interesting. Okay, um, try to use different verbs rather than being and eaten or the basic verbs like gone, right? Like spoken, um, try to make an interesting question tomorrow so we can have a talk in the first 15 minutes tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, all right. I think that's it for tonight, guys. Do you have any question for me? Do you have any comments, any complaint? Yes or no? No. no. Thank you for no the complaints, class. teacher. No question. No complaints. <laughs> no complaints, just the opposite. Thank you for the class. It's been such a pleasure. Get ready for tomorrow's talk, okay? Tomorrow we'll have a talk, okay? Have a good night, everyone. I'll see you soon. Good night. Good night, bye. teacher. Bye-bye. See guys. ya. Take care. Bye. Be safe. Don't get in trouble. Have a good dinner. Enjoy. Enjoy your night. Peace and love. Bye-bye.